We're talking to Pete Cody, the peer leader for Darlington and Bishop Auckland, say aphasia. Pete was a salesman for Mondelez Cadbury before he had a serious road accident that left him with aphasia. Hi, and welcome everybody, and we hope you enjoy this podcast called On the Tip of My Tongue. Now, I'm Rob Edwards. And I'm Jonathan Hirons. And this podcast is a follow-up to a film which Jonathan made about aphasia. So, what is aphasia? Well, it's a condition caused by some kind of injury to the brain, which is often, could be a stroke, or could be just falling off a bike. And it affects your ability to use language in all its forms. Speaking, writing, reading, sending texts, whatever. 350,000 people in the UK suffer from a debilitating condition called aphasia. Fewer than half this number suffer from Parkinson's, and yet most people have heard of Parkinson's, whilst almost nobody has heard of aphasia. You're listening to On the Tip of My Tongue, a podcast dedicated to raising awareness about aphasia. If you're enjoying the podcast and finding it helpful, please subscribe to it by clicking on the support the show link in the description. Thank you. So I'm Peter Cody and I'm now 43 and I run two aphasia groups uh, in Darlington and Bishop in the northeast of England. Six and a half years ago, I had a major car accident uh, resulting into uh, getting air left out of a crash site in ICU, HU, in a coma, and in a total 11 months in hospital. I left hospital in a wheelchair. Uh, I'm now classed as disabled, and having aphasia was hard to accept. And then dealing with language breakdown was was quite isolating. Career. What was your job before before the accident? So I worked as a sales representative from Cabris, same Mondays, Cabris, covering from um, Carlisle, South Lakes, um, down to Newcastle and down to York. So it's so obviously sales is a really, <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard drop from sales to where you are with aphasia. Oh, massively, yeah. massively. I was seeing customers had about 35 customers, so I was seeing them monthly and uh, presenting um, about their numbers, their uh, financial numbers, uh, new products, and I was meeting them once or twice every month Mm -hmm. and then not being able to speak properly and not being able to drive was another thing. So I've lost my my ability to drive. So yeah, it's sad. Did you have you got your license back, or are you still not driving? No, um, I've tried it, and it's not for me. No, friends. so I, I went back to try to drive. There some um, terms, some lessons, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't my thing. Right. Which is a shame because I was driving and had probably about 30,000 miles a year right. for driving yeah. down to Birmingham, to Carlisle, from up to Newcastle, to York. So quite a big area. So what happened with the with your job then after that? And they were absolutely fantastic. Mondelator, really, really good. They supported me through it. Um, and to be honest, it was too much for me to go back. So you do, you're doing what you do now, which is running the aphasia group. Or yes, that's thing. right. Yeah, I run two groups in in Darlington and Bishwalkland. Bishwalkland is just south of Durham. Um, so we've just started that. Um, and speaking to the speech language nurses in the area, they thought it would be great if if could set up a new group, which will help. And um, we've got a lack of opportunities in the north of England. There's Netta based in Newcastle and Skipton, South Asia, and that's it. So... 
I, I felt quite isolated um, when I first came off hospital and thought, right, okay, there's an opportunity here. So um, I wanted to give some back to the community. So I started up my group. We had started with two people and now I've got about 16 people. It's interesting. I, I used to go to the Exeter group and it's the same story. They start with two or three people and, you know, it grows. Yeah, that's it. It's getting the words out there. That, yeah. um, there is something available. And it doesn't matter, you know, if, if you just come, have a cup of tea, coffee, that's fine. You right. can do that. It's yeah, having somewhere out there to, to go. So don't feel afraid. And how do people find you? Uh, Word of mouth? It's word of mouth. The speech and with teams, they yeah, gave the information across right. and local doctors' surgeries. Right. But yeah. And so the SLT, the speech therapists, uh, have been w- are working with you now when when you do your presentation? Yeah. I started off with one in James Cook, a hospital in Middlesbrough where I went. Uh, she was absolutely great she was fantastic sport and then um, we started the group in Darlington and again because I was seen as speech and I was nurse Keely she, she was just she used to visit every month for hours and really supportive and it's just grown from there that uh, I'm in touch with them all the time they they bring new patients across that's good isn't it yeah, because it, it's it's you're right. The isolation, either personal or otherwise, geographically, is the problem, isn't it? it is yeah, it is it's to be honest. A lot of people walk through the door for the first time, and they do. They feel afraid and unsure about what. And getting the the word across is quite hard. So. We try to make sure the the rooms ch- got a chill out experience, tea, coffee, biscuits, sit and have a laugh. Yeah, yeah. there's always biscuits, isn't there? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> do they come from Cadbury's? <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, oh, I wonder that. Yeah, <laughs> I had some chocolate they've sent me through, and uh, some other bits and pieces. Yeah, that's that great. Was great. Yeah. It's interesting because uh, your story is very familiar to me because I'm talking to lots of people now and what you're you're experiencing is exactly the same. Uh, Not exactly the same because it's different, but um, the the overall problem of not being able to connect with people and also uh, lacking communication is the problem, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's... You, you go to a place for a coffee and a shop and they, they don't know what a phaser is. No. And it's trying to, for just so, to get the word out of that. And there is disability that is called a phaser. So I was going to ask you, the, the people that come to your group, what sort of level of a phaser have they got? Because obviously everybody is slightly different, aren't they? Well, I'd say it's, <clears throat> it's completely different. So some people have got can't really speak at all. Mm-hmm. It's hard for them. Other people, they're getting better. They're getting the words out. So have you improved over over the? Have you found doing what you're doing now? Does it help your communicate your personal communication? Definitely, definitely. I was, I was like to say in the past, I was standing out in front of people presenting um, in conferences. We did 50, 60 people. And when I came to hospital, there's no way I could stand up and be helpful to uh, Jim. But that's now changed. Uh, like I say, I stand, uh, well, I sit in front of a room full of people with aphasia, and now I'm quite happy to speak and communicate. Yeah. And we've got a presenter, so a pro- projector screen and a screen. 
with a, with our um, group quiz we do every month and being able to to present again to people was great and i did a presentation for doctors and nurses speech and language teams and uh, last year and again that was that was great and being able to run the groups helped me a lot hmm. Yeah, thankfully, it does get better for some people. It does, does. Some, because also being an ex salesman as well, it's, it's it's doubly hard, isn't it? Really, it is. It's yeah, natural, it's all um, you naturally want to talk to people. Yes, I do. I want to um, be able to talk to people. Um, it's quite interesting that when I go for a drink with a the guys and things like that they know exactly i've got aphasia but i'm really quiet now i'm trying to listen to what everyone else is saying yeah and i've had a couple of people said to me about are you feeling all right and things like that and i am i'm fine but i just I, i'm not positive as as positive as you used to be talking so i'm really quiet yeah, because the the thing is, you can't. It's the in a group. It's difficult to keep up with, with the uh, conversation. I mean, you can understand it, but to respond is quite. That's tricky, it. Yeah, it? Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying to be quiet. You've got an online online group as well, haven't you? Is, you do something um, on Zoom. Is that right? Zoom. We, yeah, we do. Um, just a peer leader meeting every month right so just how the groups are going because i'm um, like I say, i've got two in the northeast but we've been uh, with the um, with two other groups and they're based down from wales down to the south east of england yeah so quite big now i've been in touch with colin and he's very positive about how things yes, are going yes. Obviously, he wants more people to get involved. I don't know how. Did he come to you, or did you go to him? How did? You... No, it was a, a guy we were on another call with Essex University, and they had um, students SLTs. Um, and there was a guy on the call mentioned about safe Asia. I spoke to Colin about opportunities. In the northeast, you know, and that's mm. what we that's how it started. Me. So, do you think there'll be any more uh, in your area? Is is that is that the plan it's specifically? But for for say aphasia, but like you say, there's an opportunity to go further east and uh, um, to uh, uh, Middlesbrough area, right? Because people with aphasia, or say of my group, I'd say only twenty percent to drive. Everyone else get, gets left. So right. in the Darlington area is what 137 thousand people, um, which is quite big. It's but big, yeah, uh, yeah, you've got Middlesbrough, which is bigger, Hartlepool. So there is something now there, but it's people getting down to the Darlington to, right. to be able to deal with it. Right. So it's a ge geographical problem, is it? People yeah, getting from yeah. and that's why uh, Bish Auckland, um, again, the catchment areas is quite big. The small um, towns right. that all go around to the south of Durham. Yeah, that's able to. You know, Bish Auckland's in the middle, so it's quite quite a good location. But it's getting people there is the problem, isn't it? You're listening to on the tip of my tongue a podcast dedicated to raising awareness about aphasia. If you're enjoying the podcast and finding it helpful, please subscribe to it by clicking on the support the show link in the description. Thank you. Going back to the thing you were saying about people being feeling isolated, I yeah. think that it's, it's, it's getting that, also getting that message across, isn't it? You don't have to be isolated. We have a, a group that runs once a month. Uh, we do a local quiz and, well, not a local quiz, we do a quiz right. and everything. There's no prizes, or winners, losers, just people just, having a Just to have, a, have a, 
having a yeah. laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the, one of the things that came out also uh, is that it, it it sounds like it could be a bit grim, but of course people are like have a good laugh about these things, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. D- despite their own their problems, they yeah. are happy to have a a bit of a giggle about things. So, w- any plans then? Pete, well, for the for the for the future on on what you're doing. Um, well, like I said, we've just started this walking group, so it's hopefully that'll um, that'll grow in the next four years or yeah. bigger. We've had a couple of people in in the dance group have asked me if I could do another day, right, once a month, right. So that that could be not changing. But like I say, Middlesbrough is another. Cashman area, so there's just opportunity. Probably to go for them. <laughs> Ever the salesman. Out. You you said something about um, talking to the the GPs. Is that something that does that happen a lot? Have you managed to get to the GPs as well as the SL? I've not, but we've got a volunteer Pam who she's really good. She'll get get things moving. Right. right? And Betty as well, she's really it's just they'll call into doctors, surgeries and just get the word out and right. Leave so do, what do they do? They do they leave uh, some material you know, a, a flyer or something when they Yeah, go, we've yeah. got flyers and right. posters. Okay. That's, available. that's good. And like we've just sent some across to the South Durham SLTs. Right. So they'll give out to patients okay, so there's there's plenty of opportunity oh yeah definitely. to get to well i mean we're, we're, on on my side what we well, obviously we're doing these podcasts but also i'm just thinking it, you probably know i made a film uh, a couple of years ago when i first started having this problem but we're thinking of doing another film next year but talking about talking to people with a face with Somebody, I, I've got somebody in mind as a as a, a professional, should we say? We're thinking of putting together a kind of a little film with different people with aphasia talking to this person okay. to try again to try and people to understand what aphasia is because it, it you know I know that nobody really understands what what goes on really because no definitely do. not no yeah. um, I was on the phone the other day to. Company, I had to apologize. Well, I sort of had to apologize to say, Look, I've got aphasia, can't get my word out. Yeah, and they, you know, I, I, I agree with what you're saying, but they'll support me, right? That was quite nice. Okay. 360,000 people in the UK, that's the got it. that's the number, yeah. yeah. Uh, you do well, actually. I, I think you, you do really well. At- and people generally, people are okay about you know if you have problems with your, you know, getting your words out. People do. Oh yeah, do yeah. help. Uh, yeah, they do. Um, friends and family or seeing no people in shops or bars or whatever. They, if you say of what age are they? They're completely. Have you got a little card or anything? Some people have cards, don't they? Yeah, we've got a safe Asia and card Card. saying that on the back. Yeah. Saying, oh, I've got aphasia on that. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? All this sort of stuff helps, doesn't it? Yes. Great. Well, this is fantastic. That's that's great. Thanks, Pete, for doing this. It's really good. And it's it's good to talk to somebody who has also got the problem rather than talking about people who have got the problem. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Because, you know, we try and – obviously, we try and get people who will talk about aphasia, as I say, in a uh, professional sense. But we need to talk about people with aphasia and see, you know, and let them to talk about what their problems and their, their take on it. I do think that does help that um, the groups we run, say aphasia, it's run by people with it who've got aphasia. So we know what people are going through. Yeah, yeah. We're not sitting in front of people trying to guess what they're going through. Yeah. We actually we know. But I think you need to have someone in front of the camera saying, this is what I've got. All the things we've been talking about. I go into a shop and I, I've got it in my head what I want to say. Because yeah. 
because you get kind of, I suppose, nervous, you run into problems, even though yeah. you've got it in your head. Yeah. I want to go and buy so, some screws. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't come out. It's, just, <laughs> it's exactly what your, your line, your, I say line there, but not on the tip of your tongue. It That's is. A, it's, yeah. it's, it's right. It's, the word is almost there, just you can't get out. It is there, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> but we live with it as best we can, don't we? Yes. We do we what do, we can. We do. Yeah. And I think you're doing a fantastic job up there in the north east. Hopefully, you'll get more help as you go along. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, Pete. Thanks for, for coming on the podcast. Uh, Thanks yeah, very excellent. much. But I'll, I'll send you the yeah. links, of course, so you can pick them up. Yes. And if you pass your yeah. my stuff on to your people as well, that'd be great. I'll We've got you. one or two people that might, might be interested. Okay, that'd be good. So, yes. Thanks very much, okay. Pete. Good to speak to you. No worries. Yeah. And you too. We'll be excellent. in touch. Take care. Yes. Bye. All right, take care. Thank you for listening to this On the Tip of My Tongue podcast. We hope you found it helpful and informative. Now, if you want more help and information about strokes and aphasia, please go to stroke.org.uk. Say aphasia, that's S A Y aphasia, all one word, dot org, or the aphasia page of nhs.uk This has been a Buffalo Lounge production. Please follow Buffalo Lounge on all the socials.